Hi, hello viewers. It's Myla Minute IAS Academy. In, chap in class 6, Geography, chapter 7, we are going to see now. India is a population of 100, greater than 120 crores. It is the second populous country and it has an area of 3.28 million square kilometer. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, it has an area of uh, distance of about 3,200 kilometer, which means from uh, Kashmir to Kanyakumari means uh, from here to here, it has a distance of about 3,200 kilometer and from uh, Gach to Arunachal Pradesh it has a distance about 2,900 kilometers and India from south to north it is 8 degree 4 is north 8 degree 4 in the top it has 8 degree 4 north and in bottom it has 37 degree 6 sorry 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 so 37 degree will be here 8 degree 4 will be here Okay, then uh, we have um, center, in the center we have 23 and a half, uh, center we have 23 and a half uh, north uh, which is the Tropic of Cancer and from west to east we have here in this side we have 6, 8, 7 east and then this side we have 9, 7, 2, 5, 9, 7 degree, 25 feet east. So the difference is almost... Uh, 30 degree in both the sides the difference is almost 30 degree so by this difference of 30 degree about two has up so about two has earlier in Arunachal Pradesh than that of western Gujarat so Arunachal Pradesh will be two has earlier compared to that of uh, western Gujarat so by uh, 82 degree 30 feet east so because of this great variation we are facing a single standard time for our India and that standard time called as in IST Indian standard time which is uh, located in 82 degree 30 feet east is selected as the uh, uh, meridian it is selected as the longitude through which indian standard time is located then we have neighbors uh, the neighbors of india are we have uh, nepal bhutan china pakistan afghanistan shows a small border then uh, we have uh, bangladesh after that we have some uh, island neighbors which are uh, below this we have maldives in this region and we have sri lanka and in this neighboring country, some of the neighbors are landlocked. For example, we can say Nepal is a landlocked neighbor and Bhutan is also a landlocked neighbor. Whereas Afghanistan lies here, which is also a landlocked neighbor. And Myanmar, here we have Myanmar. Myanmar is also our neighbor. So these are our neighbors. And India has 28 states and 8 union territories. Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Pondicherry, Delhi, um, Lakshadweep, Andaman and Nicobar. So the, we have some... Um, Union and territories, we have many states, and the, the capital of India is Delhi. The physical divisions uh, we have Himalayas, Northern Indian Plain, Peninsula Plateau, and Coastal Plains. Himalayas is uh, Him plus Alaya, Him plus Alaya means a uh, board of snow. Himalaya is divided into Greater Himalaya or Himadri. Greater Himalaya or Himadri is located on the northernmost one. So, Greater Himalaya or Himadri will be like this, and then after this, we have Middle Himalayas. Uh, so, Middle Himalayas is also called as Himachal, and below this, we have Shivalik. Shivalik is the southernmost and um, below Shivalik we have a plain which is called as northern Indian plain say this is the plain below Shivalik we have a plain which is northern Indian plain it is south of Himalayas it is flat fertile alluvial and it has more people because of its flat fertile and it is suitable for agriculture and transportation because of it is it is more fertile example Indo um, Indo Gangetic plain in India then uh, so these are the plains. Then we have a plateau which is called as Peninsula Plateau. Portion of Peninsula Plateau is called as Deccan Plateau. We have Chotanagpur Plateau. So this plateau contains many ranges. For example, here Aravalli, we have Aravalli. Then we have Vindhya, Satpuras. Then it, it also has plateau, also has many rivers. The best flowing rivers are here in best flowing rivers. We have Narmada as well as uh, Tapti or the west flowing rivers. We have many east flowing rivers which includes Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri or the east flowing rivers. We have western coastal plain. Uh, this uh, portion is called as the eastern coastal plain and this portion is called as the western coastal plain. So uh, eastern coastal plain uh, eastern coastal plain is the east of eastern Ghats and the western coastal, uh, coastal plain is the west of western Ghats. Then uh, uh, in Deccan Prati, we also have uh, Eastern Ghats as well as Western Ghats, whereas Eastern Ghats is a discontinuous mountain. It has a discontinuous mountain, whereas Western Ghats is a continuous mountain. Then uh, Sundarbans Delta. Sundarbans Delta is like, uh, we have many rivers in this region and uh, uh, the river drains in this region. This region is called a Sundarban 
delta it is the world largest delta which is formed by ganga as well as brahmaputra river ganga as well as brahmaputra river drain in this region and forms a delta which is the world's largest delta which is called as sundarbans delta and we have corals what is corals corals are the skeletons of tiny marine animals called as polyps so there is a tiny marine animal called as polyps where and the skeletons are left and which forms a coral we have coral island and that coral island is lakshadweep lakshadweep is a coral island the new polyps actually grow on the top of the hot skeletons which grow higher and higher and forms a coral island so lakshadweep is a coral island we have two islands in india one is lakshadweep island and another one is andaman island andaman and nicobar island and lakshadweep island which is a coral island so these are the things which are in chapter 7 then we can see chapter 8 this is the last chapter in chapter 8 it is a um, we discuss about the weather as well as climate so weather is a day to day change so we say today the weather is hot today the weather is moderate today the weather is sunny today the weather is cloudy today the winter is calm so based on the day to day changes we say it is rainfall sunshine hot cold sunny cloudy winter calm anything so based on a day to day changes that a season is based on a certain period of time based on the duration based on certain period of time we say it as seasons we have winter season summer season rainy season as well as autumn season winter season we have cold weather it is generally in india it is generally from december to february so in this uh, period we have low temperature and the sun rays not fall directly during this period and after this we have uh, summer in during summer we have hotter weather we have hot weather and uh, march to may is the period and high temperature here it always have high temperature and sun rays almost fall directly during this period and after that we have rainy season rainy season is during the southwest monsoon by this monsoon only we are uh, gaining rainfall so this uh, period is from june to september by the onset and the advancement of the monsoon uh, it is formed and winds from the arabian sea and the bay of bengal flow towards the land so wind come to the land and it creates rainfall so that period is from june to september and the autumn autumn is the season of retreating monsoon monsoon go back so the season of retreating monsoon is the autumn it is from october to november so wind move from mainland to bay of bengal so from the mainland so if the wind comes from the bay of bengal and the arabian sea to the land form then it is the from june to september it is a rainy season if the moon wind move back then uh, it is the autumn season so monsoon is arrived from the word mausium which means season here it gives uh, good monsoon gives adequate rain as well as bountiful crop so during summer a wind called as lu lu is a hot and dry wind which blow during the day then climate is affected by certain factors which includes location altitude distance from the sea as well as relief so if i say location rajasthan is located in the desert region slide so rajasthan is here in rajasthan we have a desert called as star desert so because of the hotness because of the location jaisalmer as well as bikaner is very hot and because of the altitude also there is a variation for altitude we can say jammu and kashmir jammu and kashmir is located in a very high altitude because of this high altitude so it is ha- having very uh, high mountains because of the altitude of the mountains it is cold dras as well as kargil is freezing cold and distance from the sea mumbai mumbai is in the uh, coastal region mumbai is in coastal region kolkata is also in coastal region so it has moderate climate the uh, air from the air from the sea region will uh, control the will moderate the temperature so it has moderate climate so based on the this factor based on the relief also temperature uh, climate is affected then meghalaya meghalaya place in meghalaya called as mau sindram is the world's highest rainfall region mau sindram is the world, uh, region in which uh, has highest amount of rainfall in the world based on the natural interference so natural oh so these are the things which affect the climate so now what is natural uh, vegetation natural vegetation or the uh, things which grow without the interference or help from human beings uh, trees and uh, plants grow without the interference of human beings right those are called as natural vegetation so example forest so forest grow without the interference of human right so forest is also important for some creatures they give oxygen they absorb the carbon dioxide they control the soil erosion and they also provide timber they produce, provide forest produce and etc then wildlife and the forest is also a home for flora as well as fauna so example for uh, uh, example for those are tiger tiger is a national animal uh, which is uh, uh, seen in our forest we have bengal tiger in sundarbans delta we have bengal tiger project tiger is um, uh, initiated by government to pro- protect tiger then we have peacock peacock is a national bird then we have lion lion is in gir forest in gujarat and then uh, we have elephant project elephant is to protect elephants then um, uh, 
uh, one horn rhinoceros one horn rhinoceros as well as elephant is present in assam in assam region we have elephant as well as one horn rhinoceros then we have camel and wild asses is located in the ran of gutch region in ran of gutch region and in great indian desert we have wild ass as well as camels uh, then we have uh, in himalayan region we have wild goats snow leopards as well as bears or in the himalayan region so these are the things and in gir forest in gujarat uh, gir forest in gujarat we have asiatic lion we have lion as well as tiger india is the only uh, only country which has both lion as well as tiger so these are the wildlife which are present in our india and there are also some migratory birds which come to india so they are